have a lot of talented guys that people just don't know their names yet. Uh, they're young, young receivers that, that hadn't played or practice squad last year or just didn't get that many opportunities. Uh, then we brought in some guys, uh, Lance Lenore, Noah Brown, and then guys like Dante Thompson, Alan Hearns, uh, Tavon Austin, uh, players that, that showed in many camp and OTAs that, that can play and they can bring a lot to this offense. So it'll be exciting. And uh, we know how good we are uh, down there in Dallas. And we like, we like flying under the radar right now as much as we can. Dak Prescott uh, promoting some of the under the radar targets that he has this year after losing 410 targets the last two years with the departure now of Des Bryant, who was released, and Jason Witten, who retired and will join the Monday Night Football booth. 22 touchdowns between those two guys as well the last two seasons. Let's touch down in Oxnard, California just north of L.A. where Jane Slater is hanging out with the Cowboys and has been since they reported uh, to training camp. And uh, obviously uh, this is a big day here in, in Oxnard for the Cowboys because they are putting the pads on, Jane. Finally, and when you talk to Jason Garrett, you can just tell that they are ready to go. In fact, he used the word they are chomping at the bit to do that because keep in mind, they got here on Tuesday in six on six buses. Wednesday was that introductory press conference, and then they've literally just been walking around with helmets and jerseys, but now they get the pads on, and they said they're really going to work on things like the pass rushing and the route running. The route running is really important for them. Uh, they're making these guys like the tight ends go through this at the end of practice, really working on things like getting their weight down, low lowering, getting, making sure their shoulders are over their shoes, things like that. I mean, I've seen them go through the most basics of basics out here. Even Sanjay Lau, the new wide receivers coach, he had guys yesterday at the end of practice. He had them walking. It looked like they were carrying bricks of sorts, uh, making sure they were strengthening their grip. And he was doing it with them, going back and forth across the football field. So we see things that are a little different this year in their approach to things. But you sort of have to do that when you think about how many new guys and how many young guys they have. And then you mix in that with new position coaches, guys at the tight end position, the offensive line, as well as the wide receivers group. So kind of a fresh approach, but we are looking forward to seeing them do a little hitting today. Uh, indeed. And, and look, Jane, you know, I, I feel bad because I had to drive six hours this morning from New York to Pittsburgh and here in Latrobe. So I missed out on my early morning hot yoga session. Um, but <laughs> sounds like the Cowboys did not. And they'll be good and loose uh, when they put the pads on this afternoon. I hope our bosses are paying attention, Rhett. Like, that is the sort of commitment that you want in a teammate. I love that you did that. That that was just amazing. I was following that on Instagram. So there you go. if no one says it to you today, I love your extra effort and your hustle. But, yeah, we walked out here today and something a little strange, seeing sun salutations with the guys and seeing Travis Frederick in Warrior 2. Uh, Travis Frederick, the most bendy of the group, the word I used to explain his flexibility, is really working the hips earlier and, and getting low and just seeing some of these larger guys do this is hilarious to me. I caught up with Jason Garrett after practice, and I know Jason Garrett is a bit of a yoga enthusiast. He told me that he did that at the end of his career. He does it when he can now in Dallas. Now, he told me that he's not an, an intermediate yogi or an advanced one. He's more in the novice level, but he loves it. And so Tyron Smith did this in the offseason training. You know, Tyron had a lot of issues with his hip and his back last year miss more games than he has in his career. He came out here on the West Coast, worked with an instructor doing Pilates and yoga, and that same instructor was the one that was out here today. They said they're going to do this about four other times in camp on special teams days, but because Tyron was such a big fan of it, he put such an emphasis on flexibility, that that's why the guys are doing it, and they seemed really into it. I love it. I love it. Look, they're out in California. Like, let's get, you know, let's loosen it up a little bit. Get ready for the afternoon practice. Yes. I like it. Jane Slater uh, there with, with with all the hot nuggets uh, from Cowboys camp uh, as they get set for their first pr padded practice. Thanks very much, Jane. As you get a look at their walkthrough, actually, which is earlier today as well. So it's been a busy day out in Oxnard uh, for the Cowboys. Was a busy evening slash night on Twitter for in now ex-Cowboy and Des Bryant. And uh, MJD, I know you got a, a kick out of uh, what transpired there. Yeah, well, well, first let me say this. I don't know if it's like hot yoga if you're in Oxnard because it's normally it's, like it's 60. Cool. It, yeah, but it's, you, know, it's, you don't have to do hot yoga to do yoga, right? Okay. It can be just, just regular. Okay, so, so it's regular yoga, yeah. which I think that's great for these guys, especially to try to stay healthy, being flexible. Uh, the other thing I think that the Cowboys need to focus on is not Des Bryant. Stop mentioning this guy when it comes up, when that question comes, you have to say, we've moved on. We have to go to our new guys, our, our new tight ends, our new wide receivers, our new pass catchers, because the more you dwell on Dez Bryant, 
uh, the more it's going to hurt these guys and what they're doing. And so that, that that's going to be a tough deal. And I and hopefully that you know Dak and these guys can move forward and move on. And when, with that being all being said, you know they're going to have to lean on my guy. They're going to have to lean on the running back position. That's Ezekiel Elliott. On Zeke, not only in the running game but in the passing game. Yeah. Well, I think Jane, James mentioned that that's been an emphasis uh, early on in training camp to, is to get. Zeke more involved. Well, you're going to start to see a lot of these backs. Obviously, you see what Kamara did in, in, in New Orleans. You're going to see Dalvin Cook in Minnesota get involved in that way. What, what The way the Pittsburgh Steelers use Le'Veon Bell, the way the Rams use Todd Gurley, the way the Bills use LaShawn McCoy, you're maximizing his ability. You're giving him touches, not just carries. And I think that's the biggest thing for the Cowboys is to focus on the touches of Zeke, which is now going to open up for Cole Beasley and Alan Hearns and and some of these other receivers out there, Tavon Austin, to go out there and make plays because a lot of focus is going to be on him. Who is Dak Prescott's number one target? Ezekiel Elliott. You're, right now, in the pack. No, there's no reason for it not to be. Okay. Turn around, hand the ball off, throw screens to him, find a way. If it's not open, if and the beautiful thing about not having, like, a guy is that everyone can kind of do their thing so you don't have to zone in on them. But you also have to remember he has to get the ball out quick. So... <laughs> No, you're right, and I'm just I'm laughing because that was the genesis of the whole Des Bryant it is. Twitter deal. Was that you know Stephen Jones saying that he's not Dak's not going to have Des in his ear, and that's why they believe that he may take another step forward. So uh, you, you may have that, but yeah. but you you're losing a, a very talented guy at a position of need, and and that's going to be something they need to work on. Indeed. All right, more inside training camp live coming.